All right, so let's take a look at the first question. This is an experiment on light that you've definitely seen in school before. Jake conducted an experiment measuring the amount of light that passes through different sheets of material X. Each time, he would add another sheet of material X of the same size and thickness to the setup, and a data logger and light sensor were used to measure the results. So this is the setup that we see, and the table actually shows the amount of light detected and the number of sheets of material X. So on the column on the left, you actually see the number of sheets of material X in increasing order. And on the column on the right, this is the um, amount of light detected depending on the number of sheets of material X used. So let's look at the question. Based on the results, what is the relationship between the number of sheets of material X used and the amount of light detected by the light set? Now, this is a typical experiment question, and it's good practice um, in all experiment questions to actually find out three main things, all right? So the three main things that we need to find out is usually, okay, the changed variable, okay, also known as the independent variable, okay, the measured variable or the dependent variable, and finally the aim, which is the purpose of this experiment. So, what is the change variable or the CV? All right, it is one condition that changes in this experiment. And for this question, it is the number of sheets of material X. What is the measured variable or the MV? All right, it is the measured, it is what is measured or observed, the results. It tells us the effect of changing the CV. And so for this experiment it is the amount of light detected by the light sensor. Finally, the aim, also known as the purpose of this experiment, is the whole reason for even conducting this experiment. So why did Jake conduct this experiment? And usually, it starts with to find out, so on and so forth. So now, let's look at the question stem in detail. Okay, we notice that it actually mentions that Jake used different number of sheets of material X. So that tells us that this is the change variable in this experiment. Okay, now, at the question stem again, we see that he's measuring the amount of light that passes through these materials. And so this is actually the MV, what he's measuring, okay, the amount of light that passes through. Now that we know what is the change variable and what is the measured variable, we can proceed on to actually try to write the aim of this experiment or the purpose of this experiment. So the aim is actually to find out how the number of sheets of material X affects the amount of light passing through the materials. So if you look at the aim, okay, you actually notice that the change variable and the measured variable is embedded within. To find out how the change variable affects the measured variable. So this is a standard structured format in writing the aim. So it's good if you actually take note of that. Okay, so now that we have identified the change variable, the measured variable, and the aim for this experiment, let's proceed to actually look at the, what the question wants, okay? It wants to find out the relationship between the change variable and the measured variable. Now, in questions like this, which is really typical okay, in tests and exams, okay, there's also a structured format to answering relationship questions, all right? So, the format is actually, as the change variable increases or decreases, the measured variable increases or decreases. And we get this information from the question and from the, uh, and from the results table that we see. So if we apply this structured format to this question, okay, we can actually write it as, as the number of sheets of material X increases, the amount of light passing through decreases. So if you notice, as the change variable increases, okay, the measured variable decreases. So now that we have answered the first part of the question, okay, we will proceed with the extension of the question, which is a real life application. Now Jake wants to place a film on the windscreen of his car. This is done to reduce the amount of sunlight entering the car as he drives, because it can get very hot in Singapore, and the glare from the sun might affect you know, his driving. So what is the maximum number of sheets of material X that he can place on the windscreen to reduce the sunlight from entering while driving safely? Explain why. So we refer to the table again, and we look at the question, 
to underline the keywords. So he wants to place a film on the windscreen of his car to reduce the amount of sunlight, so that's the purpose. And we want to find out the maximum number of sheets that he can place while driving safely. So let's look at the table. We notice that when it comes to six sheets of material X, zero amount of light is detected on the light sensor. So what does this tell us? Okay, if no light is detected on a light sensor, it simply means that no light passes through the material and we cannot see. So is this safe? Obviously not, okay, because we want to see the traffic in front of us. We cannot have uh, a windscreen that is opaque or we cannot have a windscreen that we cannot see through. So we, we can only use a maximum of five sheets of material X. Reason being, it blocks out the optimal amount of sunlight but it still allows us to see through so that we can see the traffic in front of us when we drive. Okay, so to explain our choice of five sheets of material X, we will use the ABC technique. Answer, back up with evidence and the concept. So the answer of choice is five sheets of material X, like I mentioned before, and the evidence will come from the table itself. Okay, if more than five sheets of material X is used, no light can pass through, and one cannot see through the material. Now the concept will be to, to be able to block out the maximum amount of light while ensuring Jake can still see through the windscreen, he can only use a maximum of five sheets of material X.